you know, I'm a patient and I come to you and I believe I have neurotoxicity, be it from a medication or some other agent. Um, what, what do you do? Or like, how, how is the workup to determine that someone has neurotoxicity? The nature of neuropsychological tests are we can assess for, for neuropsychological function, which would include memory function, concentration, reaction time, visual perception, auditory perception, visual organization, executive function, the ability to plan, manage, control, and other functions. We can, we can assess this. But the tests themselves don't, don't finger or target or identify completely the cause. Mm -hmm. So when I take a case, I look for a change in function. That's very important for me. And if it's a forensic case and I review school records and occupational records and speak to witnesses, uh, family and friends, and, and supervisors, another person. So, uh, so one of the problems is if a person goes to um, a neuropsychologist for an evaluation, but the neuropsychologist is not familiar with the adverse effect, effects of drugs and not or of toxic substances, then they may they may actually not even detect an abnormality. They may say, well, there's it's not totally normal, but you're really within a normal range, so you're fine to so go home. Your life is perfect. Where a person really is suffering with some problem and they're trying to seek help and they're told, well, you know, you're, you're normal. <laughs> Leave my office. I don't want to see you again. <clears throat> That's a, that's one of the problems. But if 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 you have it, if the if the psychologist, the doctor, the neuropsychologist has sensitivity to understanding of the effects of drugs and toxic substances, then they know that yes, it could cause subtle effects, say in memory, in concentration, and executive function, which is a big one, and in personality, in personality function function. So many neuropsychologists who've, whose works I've reviewed will see a person and they'll say, they, they have a personality dysfunction and that's what's causing their abnormal neuropsychological function. But it doesn't make sense if you take the time to really examine the person and find out that prior to taking those drugs or prior to exposure, they didn't have that personality problem. They, they had, everything was good. They, well, yeah, you know, they had every once in a while that anxiety or depression or whatever it might be, but it would pass. And they had a, had a normal relationships with friends and family and normal work. And then suddenly after the drugs or after the exposure, they're just not the same. 